Today I will be tying one of my favorite stimulator patterns. Um, it's great when there's a big caddis hatch coming off. Uh, what I really like about it is the size of it and so when there is a big caddis hatch um, it really stands out. And if there even is some golden stone action you could use that as well. So it really is just a good all around fly. And first thing I always do is bend down the barb. I think that's very important and I'm just a big believer in it. Helps, helps the fish and makes it easier to release them. And what I have here is just some 6 aught thread. Uh, it's kind of like a golden yellow and we'll even be using that because towards the front we'll finish with some golden dubbing and it really blends together nicely. So I'm just gonna start right in the middle there. Kind of wind my way just about to the back, not all the way. Clip off some thread. Get my standard elk hair. I've, I've always been a fan of kind of lighter elk hair. It's easier to see and the fish don't seem to mind at all. So I always think why not? It really helps if you're making those long casts. And you really don't need much elk hair because this is just going to be the tail and it really just helps float the whole fly and gives it a better look. So we really don't need much of a tail either. Just about that much. I loosely wrap it with thread. And one technique I've actually learned over the years is you wrap the whole thing, the whole hook with that elk hair. Kind of made a little mess, but that's all right. We can just trim that. But what that does is it creates a pontoon underneath the fly, so it helps it float that much better. And one thing to actually secure that pontoon is just to put a real light amount of head cement. You don't need much and you don't even really need to wait it out and let it dry. You can just kind of put a real light amount and that really secures the hollow elk hair. Next thing we'll do is we're gonna tie in some copper wire. So I got the copper wire in and a lot of people don't like to use peacock curls because it's really not that great for floating but with the amount of elk hair we have on this fly um, I haven't noticed any problem with the floating so I just have three strands of natural peacock curl wrap it nice and evenly and it's crucial to have your body nice and uniform and we're gonna go about three quarters not all the way because we're gonna have to, we're gonna finish with that golden dubbing that I was talking about. So just a couple wraps to kind of secure that. Then we get that copper wire, wrap that over the top, give it a little more flash and uh, make the peacock that much stronger. And I always like to save my scissors so I kind of wind my copper off and it should just pop off just like that. Now we're gonna tie the elk hair wing case I guess you could say. Pretty much like an elk hair caddis and we're gonna bring it right back to this tail here. So for this you're gonna need a little more than we used for the tail. And you can see that when you stack your elk hair, it actually kind of has a natural bend and you want that to flare out. So you line that up right with the tail there so it's nice and even, even stack. Do a couple loose wraps and then I really cinch it down. And you can even kind of make it a little messy and get in, in between these and that really makes helps it flare out and gives it a bigger, um, bigger look. 
And you clip that right to as close as you can. So now it's starting to take on that elk or caddis look almost. Then we have some golden badger hackle here made by Whiting Farms. Tie that in, give it a couple wraps. And I've been becoming a fan of UV now. So I have this UV2 Seal X Golden Stone dubbing. And you really don't need much. Just enough to cover that body and give it that golden look. So you wrap that to the front, trim all the loose hairs. Then you wrap this hackle to the front, right over that dubbing. Wrap that a couple times. Clip that hackle. And you just finish with a little whip finish tool. Clip the thread there. I always like to trim the hackle up front. Sometimes they'll go beyond that eye of the hook there. And after that, just put a little bit of head cement right over where you did that last knot. And then you're done.